Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, my buddy, the coach, JT, said, you want to try Sinner's Racket? I'm like, what? Check it out. Hey guys, do you need help organizing your tennis life? Well, think go. We got the Axiom line here, the nine pack duffel, my favorite bag, the nine pack Axiom 2.0. They even make a 12 pack if you're going on tour and my favorite backpack of all time. I love that bag. So if you want to organize your tennis life, think go. All right, good morning everybody out there. Coffee sponsor of today, my buddy Desmond Lim for hooking me up with this right here. It's called Kal Kilni, sorry, Kalini, Kalini coffee, and it's a special brew. It's authentic Nanking roast. He's like, you like coffee, right? Because he watches me. I was like, yes, I do. He's like, I got special blend for you. Um, back in the day, they use a sock to use this one, to brew this one. So I was like, <laughs> I got my buddy Torek, who hooked me up with this Ooh, French press. So we're going to go French press meets Nanking roast for my buddy Desmond with my mug from my buddy JC. So we got triple threat today from my morning cup of joe. Oh, what better than that? All right. Guys, thank you so much for my morning wake up call. Ooh, that is so good. I'm feeling it and tasting it still. Guys, if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to just hook up the channel, super thanks is the way. Link is below. I'm going to take one more slug of this. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, that's some good stuff. Okay. So my buddy JT said, um, one of my players has Sinner's Racket. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's playing with a Speed MP? He's like, no, he's got Sinner's Racket. I was like, let me see that. So the player actually came in. Um, I believe his name is Roman. He's like, I would like, can you get me more of these? And I was like, let me see that. The first thing I looked at was, it doesn't say MP or Pro on it, because usually you would see it right there. It's blank. It does, however, say Auxetic right there. There is a code here, which most rackets from the shelf don't have. I've seen that code before. It usually means it belongs to an actual pro, a touring pro, because they don't make those codes for anyone. And then I looked on the other side, and uh, yeah, it says Yannick Center there. And I examined the racket some more. I was like, how'd you get this? So he's like, I got two of them. My brother uh, works with him, works him out. And I've been playing with this racket for, well, since last summer. And can you get me more? I was like, uh, no. <laughs> I was like, you literally have to be a touring pro to get one of these. So I said, hey, can I borrow that? <laughs> He's like, sure, no problem. Um, so here's the thing about this racket. It's 
been used, it's been aggressively used. There's missing head guards there. There's missing head guards there. Um, you can tell you know, there is no lead here nor here in which um, it does supposedly now from pictures that I've seen from interviews that I've seen uh, of Sinner you can tell that this is a older mold of the speed because of the shared holes here and here here and here this is a four and a quarter because I examined that already so this is the way it was given to me I haven't touched it uh, I would like to try it in this form um, you know even though it's an older mold it doesn't feel like the older spec or racket it feels interesting um, let's take out the uh, let's check the weight swing weight and balance on this thing um, and see what it comes out so let's check the weight three twenty three all right, let's check the balance. Ooh. Looks like 320, guys. Maybe a smidge under, but we'll call it 320. All right, guys, swing weight time. Three sixteen, okay. All right, so let's take a look at the vitals. Weight to the weight, three twenty three. Balance three twenty. Swing weight three sixteen. Hmm. So like I said, head guards seen better days. We're actually missing some parts of it. Um, there is no lead on this. Uh, so it may not be up to spec with current, with Sinner's current racket specs, but from what I can see, this is pretty legit and authentic, but I think the proof is going to be seeing how it hits, right? I'm actually going to take it around with me and going to surprise some of my pros to see if they can figure out what this is. I'm not going to tell them. I mean, they can obviously see if they look down, but I'm going to try to make them not look at it and hit it first. So let's see what happens. See you on the court. Chris, so um, I guess you figured out what you were hitting with after a little bit. What did you think I was giving you? I thought you'd give me a woman's racket, <laughs> like he always does. Okay. And then I'll be like, oh, I like it. And you're like, that's for a girl. No, B, sometimes, not what, this no? time. Oh, okay. Dang. Right. Why do you think I'm clowning you? Sometimes. Come on. I only did it like a few times. Every time. So when did you figure out it wasn't a, a girl's racket? Uh, after the second shot. What? Boom. What, what did it feel like? Boom. It's, uh, I felt like after hitting with this for the, like, the first two shots, the ball was going. Like mm -hmm. it was actually, and uh, um, the plow through was quite there, a little bit heavier than a lot of the kind of ladies' rackets that he gives me. 
That's all I know. He gives me so many ladies' rackets <laughs> that I now know what a man's racket is. So, yeah, this feels good. Uh, I really like uh, this racket. I think it plays um, very smooth, uh, clean, too, as well. You can get quite good depth with this, with this, uh, with the way that this rack is designed, and I can definitely tell from first glance it's one of the older models. But I'm sure you'll tell me what it is. <laughs> Not so, so you said who it belonged to, right? Yeah, yeah, you knew because the name's in there. I yeah. was trying to cover it, but I didn't. Well, I was just watching it. kind of also the Australian Open, and I kind of saw the racket that, and also there was a, I'm they had that post. Mm -hmm. Uh, win interview on court and Sinner was like, I don't know what's special about my racket. Mm -hmm. We took the lead off of this one too, so they're, they're like the, the the lead got removed. So this is just in stock form. We okay. can easily add a little more lead. Which he was in an interview earlier that uh, he added a little lead, and they asked him, "Oh, so why do you put lead in there?" Oh, it's a secret. Yes, exactly. Secret. It's a secret. Maybe he didn't know. Yeah. So, but uh, I mean, hey, you play with a racket for so many years or a specific model, it's, you, you don't need to remember, you don't need to know, as long as the people who handle you know what you're playing with, mm -hmm. and you say, hey, I want more power, or hey, I want more control, all they're going to do is adjust the string tension. Yep. Um, what did you, um, what did you think I strung that at? This feels like a 52. 52? Yeah. Would you believe 62? Whoa. <laughs> I, I like his tension is 60 to 62 depending on the conditions that's hmm. the normal okay. this is head hawk touch okay 16 gauge wow doesn't feel like it no it doesn't power pads and it's fresh i did it today yeah i did it today it feels smooth yeah like i said uh it's i would like to say that a lot of the pro stock rackets Right, with the Regna, mm -hmm. this is like one of the ones that would be up there too, where it feels like butter when you're hanging it. So the interesting thing with your ball, when when you started hitting your ball here, your your ball um, shape went from kind of like this to kind of like this. Mm -hmm. Your shape dropped, mm -hmm. your ball speed sped up, yeah. and you went through it a little bit more with mm -hmm. this racket. Um, I felt like mine did the same thing. Yeah. 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 So, is it sixteen by? It's sixteen nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah, wow. yeah. You look at the shared but holes. But it makes sense because you got a higher tension. So. Yeah, this is true. This is definitely yeah. true. And in hype and hawk touch um, is a softer um, co-poly there. Yeah. Oh so. yeah, the shared holes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So it's, it's an older mold. Yeah. Yeah. But if you had a few of those, would you uh, would you use it? Yep. <laughs> For sure. Of course. Of course. Yeah. All right. So Coach Chris likes Sinner's Racket. It's nice. All right. Thank you, Coach Chris. Where can we find you, bud? You can find me at CV Chan Tennis. And that's it. All right. So the Sinner Tour moves on to the next pro. Coach Rob, when I told you not to look at the racket, and I didn't look. You no, know, you didn't. I you did were, not look. Yes, yes. I just picked it up and, and started swinging without and that, looking. And then what happened when you started swinging? Felt good. What did you think I was giving you? A head racket. Um, you know I like to play tricks on you. You have uh, had <laughs> me. Uh, as the bottom of some of your jokes on more than one occasion on trying to uh, trick me, yes. Now, so did you have any 
premonition or pre-thoughts about nope i thought it was just some racket that was beat up Mm. and that somebody let the ball get way too low way too many times Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that was my first when i kind of just looked at the top i was like uh, time for a new bumper guard yep 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 or just time for a new racket right okay and then when you start striking the ball what were you thinking felt good i was Mm -hmm. like wow nice balance good weight Mm -hmm. i mean the grip's a little too small for me but it felt really good. I was like, wow, this is cool. So then I was like, hey, what would you string it with? And Yeah, I said, um, we'll tell you later. You tell me later. And, and, then, and then we you... kept playing. And then I kind of noticed the power pads. I was like, yeah. oh, nice. We got some power pads here. Right. And then I said, look down. And then, and then you said, what did you say? Uh, probably something that's not repeatable on, <laughs> on uh, this family show we have here. Um, uh, this would say Yonic Center. Yes. But we shouldn't call him the center. Not the center. Not the center. No. He might call him the winner. He could be the winner. Yeah, that's true. Center the winner. <gasps> so, yeah, it was very cool to hit with this racket that has his logo. This is sweet. <laughs> so, you, your ball went from here, like, in terms of this, to here. It, it, got, it shot through the court more. Right. And it was more penetrating through. Well, I might have been hitting it a little bit harder since I was a little more excited <laughs> that I found out whose racket it was. So, so this is true. Before you knew who it was, your ball did drop, though, already. I think just because of the the racket. Um, and then as you got more excited to, to, to really feel it, you, you kind of swung a little more freely just to see what you can get out of it. Um, you kept asking me, though, and I didn't want to tell you until right now, the string tension. Um, right and a type um, 16 gauge headhawk touch 16 gauge okay now sinner's tension is 60 to 62 pounds with power pads okay that's what I that did not at. feel like 60 <laughs> to 62 yeah yeah it felt more like 55 right yeah. it felt softer right so I'm gonna credit the um, the uh, strings mm-hmm. for being softer and being playable because maybe the power is, pads that too right i mean maybe that too. it's been a long time since i actually used to hit with power pads but yeah because usually a, a 60 is rock hard and right. literally especially in a poly i strung it yesterday you're my second man to do it to try this and uh yeah i'm gonna tell you what coach chris said to me um about this racket okay i said coach chris so don't look at the thing just hit with it and then I asked him what he thought I was giving him. He's like, you're giving me a girl's racket. Really? Because you're always doing that to me. <laughs> so you get him like you get me. <laughs> oh, it's just, I, I'm, you know, it, it's not a, I, I do it to everybody. Yeah. You okay. know, that's just what I do. Got I'm it. freaking tennis comedian now, I guess. <laughs> okay. I'm an indiscriminate uh, um, joker. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Coach Rob, final thoughts. Awesome. So happy you let me try it. Felt great. Love to hit more with it, actually. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, so the Center Racket Tour continues. See you soon. Okay, so Coach Jared doesn't know what he just played with yet. Um, let's just start with what it felt like. What did it? What did this racket feel like? Um, in my opinion, it kind of felt just like a regular head speed frame. So mm-hmm. traditionally, I didn't really like this line of head racket specifically, just because mm-hmm. I always felt like I had to kind of swing really hard. Mm-hmm. So obviously, with playing my current stick, I also have it let it up, so it kind of helps me a little bit more than having to swing so much. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. So I was definitely hitting a lot of balls into the net in the beginning, mm-hmm. but as soon as I kind of elongated my stroke, mm-hmm. I think that kind of actually worked a little bit better for me in Correct. terms of getting the ball deeper, a right. little more action, um, a little more you know height over the net, mm-hmm. which is great. Um, but in my opinion, I kind of just felt like it felt like a regular speed. Oh, um, okay. 
it's been a while since I've hit this stick, so I can't really say say I have like a great comparison right, overall. Right, right, right. Um, but <laughs> excuse me, but for me, it was just um, regular speed, pretty solid, low powered frame, and you know, somewhat control oriented as usual with these sticks. So Got it. That's kind of what I felt. Okay, now let's talk about the tension. How tight do you think that was? Fifty five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In my opinion. So so this was strung at. 6062, right? But it's really head hawk touch. Head hawk touch. I like this. It was strung yesterday. Okay, so it should have still held tension. You're the third person to try it, so it might have dropped off a bit. Um, now, about the frame. Like, I want you to check out the name on the frame. You're joking. <laughs> Are you serious? This what? was Yannick Sinner's frame. This was young. I mean, no chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did play with it. It looked like back in July. So it's July of 23. So it's been a little bit now. <laughs> I have a really funny story because obviously the Aussie Open just happened, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Courier was like interviewing Sinner and asking him, is this a regular frame? And obviously Sinner wasn't going to say anything. And I was like, huh, I wonder if this guy puts lead on his rackets. This felt like a stock stick. So it me. kind of is. It kind of is. So as you can. If you could see by the shared holes here and here, here and here, mm -hmm. right? It is a graphene. It's a speed graphene from a couple generations ago. Um, but I feel like it was balanced and weighted to a specific spec. So the lead was taken off mm. um, by him. So I, I didn't want to add it back on because I wanted to see how it was in pure form. And... Uh, didn't it feel like it had a little more, uh, not, I want to say precision, but a little more care to it when they made it? That's yeah, the may, maybe like a little bit better quality than like a regular off the rack stick. The firmness maybe. of it, I think, is the, the, yeah. the only way I can describe it as. I mean, I, I thought usually with the speed sticks, I just think they traditionally just feel like smooth rackets. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, um, that's why I was thinking it was just like a stock frame. Yep. Um, but... Now that, now that you told me this is Sinner's racket, that's very interesting because it does. So maybe if he does, if we do add the lead back, maybe it'll play slightly different. Mm -hmm. But just in this form specifically, I thought it played like a regular speed, which is interesting. <laughs> so now I'm thinking, like, I wonder if he does customize the rackets or not. But like you said, if he has lead on it, he probably does. But that was pretty interesting to say the least. So I wouldn't have guessed that this was Yannick Sinner's racket at all. So right. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Exactly. So just for a little more clarification, this is that mold they can actually mess with it however they mm -hmm. want to to stiffen it in certain places um thicken it in certain places so mm -hmm. that you get a custom feel you get the stiffness you want you get the bend where center wants mm -hmm. so don't get it wrong like if you get a graphene 360 speed from this era that looks like this, it don't mean you're getting this stick, okay? <laughs> there is a barcode, there is a number in here that tells you what it is. <laughs> and when they punch it in, it's gonna say center. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're gonna take center specs and produce center's racket, <laughs> okay? It's so, interesting. So center, yeah. <laughs> four and a quarter, 60, 60 to 62 pounds, hawk touch, head hawk touch, 16. Great string. I do like it. Right? I do like Head Hawk Touch. You've tried it before. I have. I have. All right. So, any final words? Um, Surprised. That's all <laughs> I can say. We're all pretty fun to, to learn that. So, it's kind of cool. All right. Cool. Coach Jared, where can we find you, bud? You guys can find me on Instagram at Maha Tennis. All right. All right. Next stop in the center racket journey. Hmm. We'll see you there. All right, Coach Goo, um, yep. you, you went out there 
uh, kind of blind. I said, just use Pretty it. Much, yeah. I told you not to look. You kept mess looking at the racket itself because obviously it's been beat up. It's been uh, very beat up. <laughs> now, what did you think I was giving you? Uh, I mean, regular speed, honestly, because this is an <laughs> old version of the speed. But when I first held it, I was like, this is a pretty, it's not like no, your normal speeds that you used. And then I was like, this is funny. This is a little suspicious because he doesn't say anything about this racket. How did um, it hit for you, though? It hit really well. I mean, for a racket that's this beat up, uh, I mean, it's definitely has seen some better days. But um, it really held on its own. It felt like an actual... You know, a, a player's racket. What I mean by a player's racket, it's like a stock racket that most of the tour players use. And I think this seems like it, like that type of realm because it's like it's weighted well throughout the whole head. There is weight on this racket, and an indicator that I noticed is they don't really show you like on traditional like speeds. They have like the specs and everything. This one has nothing on it completely. So. I feel like this is a custom racket to a certain type of tour player. I'm thinking about like the person that just won the Aussie. It feels like it's his racket, um, but no, like this is like a pro. I believe a pro stock racket. Yep, that's Sinner's racket. That makes sense. <laughs> makes sense because you know why I was like wondering. I was like, he also tailored this stuff. Like it's basically. I was just looking around and see what it is. It's like if I know there's no label on anything or like the specs and the weights. It's definitely a player's racket, no one else's. Okay, so the other thing is, how tight did these strings feel to you? Honestly, when I was hitting with them, they felt like, I mean, they, they felt like they, actually, I don't know, they felt like pretty, like, maybe broken in a bit, like just like freshly, like someone has played with it for an hour, and I just got it, and it's like at that perfect time spot, so it's like pretty nice and played in. What's your guess on tension? I will say mid 50s. Okay. Mid -50s. So it was strung at 60, 60, 62 oh, two yeah. days ago. 60 to 62 days ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So it probably a couple hours worth of play because I've, yeah. I've it looks like it it's, around. Yeah. Yep. Um, played around. Head Hawk Touch 16, 130 on this. Oh, wow. Okay. So it actually I mean, has a nice soft pocketing feel, even from the start. I was yeah, pretty surprised. I think it was like, it was, I was not used to how much it actually kind of like shot. Like it actually pocketed and it shot off nicely. I see why it's kind of like high in tension because with those type of strings, you do need some tighter tension. Mm -hmm. It's because they do pocket, so if it's looser tension, it's going to sail really quick. Right. But like this, I get. I feel like the racket was customized too a little bit towards the string because yes. there is the strings actually the more I hit with it the more I'm feeling the rackets bending to a certain point not much but to a certain point and then like shooting off I think yeah I think it's I think the racket was made for the strings I think he loved the strings so much but he wanted a racket that kind of blended well with the with the strings right I mean yeah like when I first played with it I was like oh it felt it feels like an old like blade pro stock I used to use. Mm -hmm. But like the strings were different because I'm used to like, you know, stiffer strings. A little harder. Yes. That doesn't like Firmer. pocket as hard, but like they could still give you that nice little rip and spin. But this one like it pockets like I felt all that like slingshot momentum through that string. And I think it's better that way because it gives you a nice response feel. A yep. true feel of it of the ball versus like something that you know where the hit spot is you just try to find it right so, so it's not muted it's actually lively so would you play with this well i played with that racket it was not like that version like that, that beat up yeah <laughs> i want to actually try it where it's not beat up thank god i don't know if we're gonna be able to get one i don't of those, think so but, but um <laughs> but like i would actually try to play with it and see how i like it because when i was playing with it it felt like a really fun racket to play with natural it, yeah it didn't feel like it was something different all right so any final words if our words, um, congrats to Sinner. Exactly. Uh, congrats to Sinner on winning the Aussie. Um, and no, this is, I would say, if you got lucky enough that he gave you a racket of his, you should try it out. It's really cool. I think it's, it's fun to experiment other players' racket because everyone's game is so different. And knowing, you know, Sinner, he has that aggressive rip game. And I could see it through his racket already. Just the way it's play, it plays and just 
how it feels it feels so good to rip any shot really it gives you the um the urge to keep, keep going for it yeah no I, I i thoroughly love this racket i mean even though i mean obviously when we know that it's sinners it's gonna in our head take it to another level um for whoever's using it just because you know it's like i got a you know pros racket who just now won the Australian Open, so Grand Slam winner. So of course, I think our play gets elevated. We focus a little harder, yeah. And the rack is just going to play better because of all those things. Yeah. And it probably helps that it's you know, perfectly specced for him. Yes. And made that much better. Yeah. I think <laughs> the biggest thing too is just when I realize this, there's, there's a confidence of the swing, right? So there's mm -hmm. some rackets you don't feel confident in. This, this is one of the rackets, like I would say, a well-made racket that you definitely can swing with confidence in general. Yes. So. All right. Guys, Coach Gu was the last one for this, the journey of the center racket. So um, everybody loved it. Um, I think Coach Ma was the only one that was like, uh, yeah, it was okay, good but okay. But also, his, his weighs a pound, so anything lighter isn't gonna feel like his. But I mean, he liked it too in his own way. Um, everybody else kind of like, oh. <laughs> so, Coach Gu, thank you so much. Of course, you were thank the final you. pro. Thank you. Tell, tell everybody where they can find you. You can find me at you. Tennis sells to be posting content there as well. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tips.